I'm Messiah. I'm Marlon. And I'm Hannah. When death is, and dies off in his jersey car. Alright, I'm going to show you some clothes. Matt's going to show you some food stuff. Yeah, and I'm going to be here working on the house with Rachel. You born. Right. So let's go, Jake. Let's go, boy. Alright. Ich bin der Matthias Sicker und ich bin do heit vom Cheeky und der Rachel des Lebensmittelwähle mitzuhelfen. Hallo, ich bin die Hannah Moyer und ich war uh, mit der Rachel als Haus Ebermacher. Hi! Und ich war auch die Kultur zum Cheeky erzähler. Mein Name ist der Marlon Biefendörfer und ich bin do heit für den Cheeky mit they were sweet. They were they were quaint. They had the nice little dresses on. Yeah, I don't know uh, what's gonna come of this. I just hope I get a new friggin' bathroom. Tony, my Tony, he wants a new bathroom. He agreed to do this thing because of uh, that he wants to the, the, the remodel the bathroom. I know we got the little stall shower and the toilet. I think that's good enough, you know? Hey, yeah, uh, this ought to be cool. I don't know what these guys have in mind, uh, but they seem like a nice group of folks. We'll probably wander around a little bit, uh, do some shopping, uh, you know, uh, talk to some chicks. Who knows? Here we are, we're at uh, Dietrich's Meats. You ready to eat some real food? Oh yeah, Matthew, let's do this. Let's check it out. Mm. Hey, that's what I'll get. Hey, I think I'll grab a Pepsi. No, 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 you don't need that. Try something we make locally. We make much better stuff. What do you do with the oxtail? You can cook it in stews, you can cook it. It's just a different texture of meat than maybe you're used to, but it's really delicious stuff, and they do a good job here using it. Now there's a lot of meat to be had on an animal. See, there's the traditional cuts of meat, but you also got the kidneys, the liver, you got the stomach, and the tongue, the eyeballs, don't forget the brain. You can cook it all down and make a nice scrapple. So much you can't think of it all. See, you wouldn't buy a loaf of bread and then only eat a quarter of it and throw the rest away, would you? It's the same thing with meat. See, what you do is you go to a good butcher like Dietrich's Meats here. They're, they're going to use it all. They know what to do. They make all kinds of good meat. You can't even imagine. You can raise it, hunt it, or find it on the road. Just make sure you keep eating meat. And don't forget the pig's feet jelly for the kids. Pig's feet jelly. I like that it's so... It's nice and sour. But it's also a little firm. It's just, it's just, it's so good to eat after a good thick meal of some corn pie or something. Yeah, they try and introduce them to this new food, pickled this and that, organs I never even heard of, let alone put on a plate. My Tony's not going to be able to take this. Both New Jersey people and Pennsylvania people, they like tasty cakes, and that's pretty Pennsylvania Dutch. I can't even begin to describe that at this point. They keep talking about uh, getting me some new threads, but you know, this is a uh, fine Italian linen. It's going to be a lot of work. The only thing that he was missing was the pin's hat. When they move here, they got to figure it out. Well, we're here to talk about your clothes a little bit. Um, as I can see, you went all out. Hey, not bad, huh? Um, um, yeah, I'm actually trying to figure out. This, this, believe it or not, this coat could actually be resurrected. With perhaps not on the collar off, but uh, the color, there are very few groups of Pennsylvania Germans who generally would wear that. I can't wear paprika. Is that what it is? Hey, yeah, you know, it's like oh, spicy. It's kind of like, like, like the stuff we eat in Italy, hey, you know, it's got a little flair to it. Huh? I thought more like red beet eggs, but you know, it still works. But let's start from the top down. Right. Uh, the hair's not so bad, although we usually don't need the hair gel and probably end up, you know, let me go a little more casual than that. Oh, okay. As for these, okay. Luckily, there's a word for these in English. The word is garbage. Oh, hey, man, those are like our money. That's like $200 down there. Call that garbage. And, uh, you know, okay, so it's very expensive garbage. But the shirts are not so bad. You won't need to have the fancy designs. It's unnecessary. But that's satin. Satin's fine, although you can really get away with just plain old cotton. Um, right. now, I got cotton. The really scary thing here in all this is this. Um, the, uh, 
I really just don't even know where to begin to go with the, with, with the full-fledged matching fashion sense. Um, Tony's outfit, oh, it's just... Reeks of Jersey. Not too much better you can get than this, you know, I got my grandpappy's ring over here, I got my tool pick, hey, you know, I'm all set, you know what I'm saying? So, pig's feet jelly, it's a good thing to do. I used to eat it with my pappy all the time. We'll talk a little bit about our clothing. Now, generally speaking, among the plainer sects, you have clothes like this, um, where these are broad fall pants without buttons, and um, a lot of people wear hooks and eyes. A little eye going here. Around here, most of the people are, are Mennonites. A lot of people think they're not just because they ride in buggies or um, or because they were suspenders and a hat. So do I have to dress like that to fit in around here? No, you don't have to dress like that at all. Most people don't, you'll even see most people don't. But the basic thing here is just kind of a more, um, how shall I say, like you said it yourself, more of a country sense, a little bit, a little bit less urbanized, a little bit less boisterous, a little con, bit less flamboyant. And don you, and don you. Antonio, come vai, Antonio? Niente, no, no, Andiamo, andiamo, Antonio. Sto vengo. I don't think that Rachel is quite ready for one of our men and I have been Obdak. Oh, what? This is an Obdak. 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 It's an Obdak. Obdak. It's the covering that, um, but uh, so I don't think that she's quite that nor does she have to be because she's not a Mennonite, so she doesn't need to do it. Just like you do not need to wear the hose of Gregor or um, you don't even need to do that because it's not from your religious identity. Yeah. So it's a little bent, it's a little dusty, it's seen a lot of work. Yeah, not bad. Um, actually, really, it's not that bad. I mean, usually we try to you know, flatten it out here, but it's taking a little bit of effort. Um, and, yeah, it's actually not that bad. We can have you looking like the Quaker Oats guy anytime now. But, hey, um, yo, bada bing, eh? I'll be damned. Ironically, some of the words that are pretty much let go in English not considered vulgar are actually highly vulgar in Pennsylvania and Dutch. Oh, I'll be damned. And vice versa. Well, that's, that's a good example. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I would kind of steer clear of that one. People with funny accent, I just can't understand them. I want my baby to speak like me, to speak the right way. This is an old doc. Old doc. Old doc. Old I can't understand Tony's funny accent. It just doesn't make any sense. This is an old dad. 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 I don't know why he has to talk so weird. I don't have no idea what the hell they're saying. But there are other ways of saying things that are still that are still vulgar, so you'll still feel at home, but without being over the top. It's like you can just instead of saying instead of damn, it's still just essentially say do not better. Don't don't better. Don't don't better. Don't better. Which thunder weather. Thunder weather. Either. Cursing somebody with lightning, or um, you're calling upon Thor to do some damage with lightning, or um, you're just talking about a rainstorm. Right. So. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you, well. Good talking to you. Likewise. Cotton. Cotton, he said cotton. Oh, yeah, how about these old things here? Yeah, no. This will make me look like I fit right in. of the Pennsylvania Dutch that I don't think coming from New Jersey you really know that much about. Hey. So, you know, I mean, you, know, you don't need to if you live in New Jersey, right? But here you really have to know. We came here around 1683 and oh, started settling, old. well, not me, I didn't come. Oh, all right, gotcha. Uh, started settling southeastern Pennsylvania and um, Really, the Pennsylvania Germans have contributed quite a bit to this nation and this culture. For instance, we uh, were one of the only states in the nation to have freedom of religion in our state constitution. Oh. You know, they have some, some natural impairments, and it, 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 we'll just have to work with it as we go. And there's this lady in my house, Hannah somebody, talking about this and that in some language I can't understand, a lot of in it. Yeah, I don't know about that, Hannah. Not my type, but she's all right. Well, New Jersey, you know, mm. us good Italians, we're all Catholic, so it don't matter. Right, right. But here, I mean, everybody's something else, right? Yeah, well, so, but it don't matter because they're not Catholic, so they're going to hell, right? Okay, so, um, 
and and there's a lot of other things we've contributed, like we kind of stowed the wagon, the Kentucky rifle. Well, why don't you just go down to Walmart and buy your guns? You know, we make them. You make them? Yeah. Yeah, we make. You could just buy them at Walmart. Yeah, we don't really like to go to Walmart. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, suit yourself. This area really, it has a distinct culture and a distinct language as well, and it's really important for people of this generation to learn the language and continue speaking the language because it's becoming really less and less common. You know, some people will go so far as to say it's a dead language, but I would have to disagree with that. So, uh, what about those paintings out there in the barns, the big circles? Yeah. Ich tät dir sauer, aber dann müsst ich tot machen. I wasn't looking at another man's wife, let me tell you that first. But, you know, she was alright. You know, I think she's a little high strung, a little high maintenance though. I don't know if I could really, if I could really live with her. You know, my wife, she usually keeps her dresses pretty low. The general demeanor is not something that's particularly well taken to by most Dutch folk. I ain't complaining. Tony, what did they do to you? What is this? I got something for you. Don't you like this hat? A hat? Some lady made it all with a hand. So a hat? Yeah, I on. don't want That's a beautiful. hat. That's I want a shopping mall. I want a Walmart. Oh, you in the shop. We got oh, whatever. Hat. I'm tired of oh. arguing with you. And what? you know another thing. You know something? And what? another I'm thing. I want a Starbucks. Don't have that Finally, one good thing to come out of this godforsaken state. 